President Bush, your closing statement. Well, let me tell you a little what it's like to be president. In the Oval Office, you can't predict what kind of crisis is going to come up. Uh, you have to make tough calls. You can't be on one hand this way and one hand another. You can't take different positions on these difficult issues. And then you need a philosophical, I'd call it a philosophical underpinning. Mine for foreign affairs is democracy and freedom. And look at the dramatic changes around the world. Cold War is over. Soviet Union is no more, and we're working with a democratic country. Poland, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, the Baltics are free. Uh, take a look at the Middle East. We had to stand up against a tyrant. The United States came together. We haven't in many, many years. And we kicked this man out of Kuwait. And in the process, as a result of that will and that decision and that toughness, we now have ancient enemies talking peace in the Middle East. Nobody would have dreamed it possible. And I think the biggest dividend of making these tough calls is the fact that we are less afraid of nuclear war. Every parent out there has much less worry that their kids are going to be faced with nuclear holocaust. All this is good. On the domestic side, what we must do is have change that empowers people. Not change for the sake of change, tax and spend. We don't need to do that anymore. What we need to do is empower people. We need to invest and save. We need to do better in education. We need to do better in job retraining. We need to expand our exports, and they're going very, very well indeed, and we need to strengthen the American family. I hope, as President, that I've earned your trust. I've admitted it when I make a mistake, but then I go on and help try to solve the problems. I hope I've earned your trust, because a lot of being President is about trust and character. And uh, I ask for your support for four more years to finish this job. Thank you very, very much. Don't go away yet. I just, uh, I just want to, uh, I just want to thank the three panelists and uh, thank the three candidates for participating, President Bush, Governor Clinton, and Mr. Perot. They will appear again together on October the 15th and again on October 19th. The next Tuesday there will be a debate among the three candidates for vice president. And for now, from Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri, I'm Jim Lehrer. Thank you and good night.